specifically speaking about leather and leather alternatives. So if you're looking at like a piece of leather, like a leather jacket versus an imitation leather jacket, I mean, that real leather jacket is going to last a lot longer. That imitation leather jacket is essentially plastic and it's going to be around for the next 500 years. It's, it's not a biodegradable product because it's petroleum and plastic based. And I think that that's not something that people think about, even when they're talking about or thinking about footwear um, or the production of materials that go into footwear. And you told me not to use these words together, vegan leather. <laughs> Does Patagonia do a vegan leather or something? I don't think so. I wonder why. I don't think they do any. I mean, they, they use some of leather from us. Yeah. Some what bison, do they use? Some bison. They use an olive tanned bison product for some boots that they make. Why is it that I'm not allowed to use the two words vegan and leather together? Well, according to the FTC, it's deceptive because the leather, those two words, like they can't exist in the same because you can't, they define leather. You can say imitation leather or synthetic leather, but vegan leather is, uh, is misleading because you can't, those words can't exist together. I see. Cause leather has an inherent meaning to be from an animal's skin. Yep. That's the, I see. That's how I interpret it. Well, I also done some reading. I'm interested by the concept of the stuff made from uh, fruit. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the stuff made out of cactus. They make some stuff out of pineapple. I'd be curious to see what it looks like. So I, I'm not fully informed on uh, quote-unquote vegan leather. But this article that I was reading, it was about vegan leather sustainability. So I'm being a little critical of them. They said it's a material that mimics leather, but it's created from artificial or plant products instead of animal skins. It's also most often made from two different plastic polymers, polyurethane, PU, and polyvinyl chloride, PVC. So essentially it's plastic. And you mentioned at the top that plastic takes 500 years to degrade. What was that stat? That's just a number that I found in one of the articles that I was looking at before we did this. I was trying uh, to synthetic find. leathers, imitation leather, et cetera, are essentially plastics and take up to 500 years to biodegrade. That article was looking at uh, microplastics. I hope no one's rolling their eyes that we're getting into <laughs> this stuff. But some, I didn't realize the impact that just, you know, those synthetic fibers have. I mean, they were saying that just that 35% of the microplastics that are in the ocean are from washing your clothes. So just washing your workout stuff or whatever, whatever you're, whatever you have, that's not wool or cotton that you, when, you, when you wash it, that, you know, some of those fibers come out of the clothes. I mean, just like any other thing, you know, it's slowly breaking down every time you wash it. That was making me think about the vegan leather thing. I mean, it's not like you're putting vegan leather in the washing machine, but the, the, the comparison exists in my mind. Yeah. The NS had vegan leather, even though. We'll see. <laughs> not supposed to. <laughs> You're not allowed to, FTC says. So I have a quote here from the uh, UN Environment Program. Uh, this is a little bit more about the fast fashion. Are you familiar with fast fashion? Do you do any of that? Uh, we do not. We are too early times. Too, it takes us too long to make stuff. Have you heard of Sheehan? The tannery? No, there's a there's a fast fashion brand called Shein that oh, no. sort of blew up on social media, and it, oh, it's is, a huge trend. Is that the one that is relatively inexpensive stuff, and they put tons of stuff every day? It, yes, yeah. and it's incredibly I've, inexpensive. Yeah, I heard of it, it's, and it's it's factory to consumer, right? Yes, yeah, I, I have heard of that. I, 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 mean, I forgot the name. Financially, they're probably doing great, but it, it, this article is critical of of companies like that, fast fashion type of things. So the fashion industry is the second biggest consumer of water, and it's responsible. This is a big range. It's responsible from two to eight percent of global carbon emissions. So fashion industry, all of it, not just fast fashion. The average consumer buys sixty percent more pieces of clothing than fifteen years ago, and each item is only kept for half as long. So you're buying more stuff and using it less, which again, to the point that you illuminated to me a decade ago, the product life cycle cycle seems to be compressed. The biggest drive, like the denominator of this whole thing. So that that's concerning. Buying more stuff requires more energy and everything to make, which has an impact. 
and then keeping it half as long and, and having it end up wherever it's going to end up as an impact. But too. it's so fun. <laughs> it's so fun to buy new stuff. It is. It is fun. And I, I mean, obviously, people do think it's fun, and that's why it's so popular. Honestly, so you know, I've got guitars around here. I love looking at guitars and shopping for guitars. I rarely buy them. And I, I suspect if a guitar was like $5, I'd have so many guitars. So I think I understand I understand it. It's the same with boots and stuff, except the bigger price tag. I have a lot of boots. And I certainly can't wear them all. <laughs> it does feel like what they argue for of just shopping your closet first or shopping at a thrift store for like a leather good, for example, is something that's a prime candidate for, you know, being a positive, uh, just to outweigh some of the negatives, I suppose, of, instead of buying something new. But that's really like, if you start to think about it, like what makes something more durable and everlasting? <laughs> I gave a stupid example earlier of like, well, I need a boot or shoe or belt or wallet. I want something that's going to last. So in the case of a shoe, what's the most durable thing, that material that exists, right? It's probably some sort of type of metal. Yeah, I don't know. What's durable? I don't know. I mean, it has <laughs> to be. something that's never going to break? Or, but you can't make a shoe out of that. Every time I start to think deeply about it, it's like, well, leather seems to be the perfect choice. So it looks good. Or can look good. I guess it could look crap. It seems to last. You can polish it up. It's breathable. I actually don't know if the the imitation leather stuff is. I don't think it is. From what I read, I don't. I, mean, I don't have any of it. I haven't worn any of it. But canvas doesn't last. I wore I wore canvas shoes. You know, if people are going to eat meat, it does seem like leather is a really healthy choice. People have brought up to me the point before when I go to a party or something and meet. New people. Oh, what do you do for work? Yeah, I make leather goods. And sometimes the question comes up of, you know, what happens when all meat is lab grown? So I was, <laughs> I was kind of, I was thinking about it a bit, and I still feel like leather is a good choice because there are going to be animals, but it either means that leather is going to be more expensive or just not be a marketable like large scale business. But what do you, you know, if if lab grown meat is now the norm, what do you think happens to your business? I mean, I th I don't think it would be around, at least not in the not in the way that it is now. I mean, there might be still some things to tan, or maybe there are lab grown hides. But I mean, we're an industry of byproducts. I mean, we're in Chicago because. The stockyards were here and all the animals were coming here and we were at that time close to our primary raw material. I mean, does that keep you up at night? It doesn't. Because <laughs> if that if that happens, then that's the way that it's supposed to go, and then that's the way that it'll go. Um, I think that maybe controversial, but the way we are set up as a you know, a country, as a as a world, the amount of food that we need and the type of food that we eat um has created a certain way of generating that food and that model exists and that creates the hides that we use. And those byproducts are, there's plentiful. There's more, there are a lot of hides available. Um, you're saying it's, you're not being very direct. You're saying it's controversial to eat meat. I just think I do. I didn't realize. <laughs> I was avoiding, I was avoiding. I didn't realize it was. I do think that I do think, cause I think that, you know, there's some conversation about factory farming and you know what that looks like and how that's, there's an, there's a big impact there or there can be an impact there. And then there's a move away from that or, or a, an idea to move away from that. But I think that, you know, like anything else that developed to serve a market and to serve a need. And that's why it's around. And that model creates a lot of hides and we use those hides. And I think that even in a model that is different than that, if you look at something that's more just full pasture animals, yeah, whatever the, like, whatever, whatever native. the ultimate goal is, um, that's still going to generate that raw material. There'll right. just be less of it, I think, because I don't think that those methods can sustain the quantities that the current methods do. Not saying that I agree with the methods or I like to be, you know, tied to those methods. I don't, you know, I don't, I'm sort of ambivalent about that, but. I'm really just putting screws to you. <laughs> well, I, think I, I, I didn't realize that it was such a, 
that you were so nervous about it. No, I'm not nervous. I just, I don't, I don't, <laughs> it's, it exists. It's, it's there. It's pretty, I mean, it's not like it's a hidden thing, but it's, um, it's something that I, it's something I think about. I think about that more than I think about hides going away completely. 